We have children in Pennsylvania that are seizing somewhere between two and 300 times a day. And that's a quality of life issue for not only those children, but their families in general. State Representative Carrie Benninghoff says there are many families that can benefit from Pennsylvania's new medical marijuana law. The governor signed the bill this month, but Benninghoff says it's about 18 months until the process becomes routine. The state will distribute licenses for growers and dispensers and set up dozens of dispensaries. If you walked by a medical marijuana facility, you wouldn't know if it was J.C. Penney's or some other kind of, you know, store. But if you're looking to join the dispensary business, it won't be easy. We want professionals doing something like this and they have to be able to show some significant financial um, bearings and or uh, investment so that it isn't just a fly-by-night organization. The law sets standards for tracking plants and certifying doctors. Pennsylvania hopes to be at the forefront of research for the drug with a large component of the bill dealing with clinical trials and testing. Patients should note this is a cash business not covered by health insurance. While the topic was controversial, lawmakers came to a compromise. Small business people. Who am I to deny this? It should really be a decision between that patient and their family and their physician. In State College, I'm Liz Malara for the Center County Report.